the new addition to the family. Welcome. Mm. So, um, how I'm feeling? I'm feeling fine. I don't feel homesick for home so much, but I am homesick for food. I have noticed that since I've been living here, I am looking for American taste uh, in restaurants, in hamburgers and pizzas and I mean that's not even really my diet because I when I'm at home in Texas I eat mostly vegetables uh, and seafood but I noticed like since here living in Korea my diet has changed because they do not have a lot of vegetables and the vegetables that they do have are very very expensive so I'm trying to come up with creative ways to still get the um, natural, not sorry, not natural, but get my vitamins that I would get in my vegetables back in Texas here in Seoul. So I've been noticing that that is a challenge. Um, another thing that I've noticed is mm, there is a language barrier. It's not bad but it's not good either um i think it i should have did more research on the culture and maybe like three months in advance tried to start practicing some of the basic um language to get me around now i notice that now that i'm here i'm kind of learning in the school of hard knocks luckily by the grace of god I've had people who have helped me with certain words. If I have questions, uh, people are there to help me with simple words like um, oh my ale, because I love to shop. So I know that was a word that I was I needed to know was oh my ale, which means how much is this? And then they'll tell me and then I'll decide if I want it or not. Um, another thing that I've noticed is that the etiquette is different. Like here, they told me about it but it's different when you start experiencing it. So, <laughs> anywhere in America, I guess maybe not in New York, I don't know, but I know in the South, it is not okay to just push. And here, pushing is like, it's like water. And that is something I'm not used to and I'm probably not gonna get used to it because to me it's just common courtesy. You don't have to push anyone. You can lightly tap them on their shoulder or their arm and say, excuse me, or, you know, nah, nah, nah. and um, another thing that I noticed, they like to spit on the ground. They just spit, like, they don't try to find like a bush or anything. So etiquette's like that. Also holding the door open, like they'll just push the door open, make sure they get through, and then, you know, the, you gotta be careful because the door may just hit you in the face. Probably should have packed some more of my favorite snacks. Nah, like chips, because the chips here are very, 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 very different. Now, if you are a big sugar person, you love sweets, by all means, the chips are for you, but they're not for me. I like my chips salty. Korea chips are not salty. They are sweet. I remember like my second day here, I went and bought me some Korean brand sour cream and onion chips and I was getting ready to just dip in there and enjoy my mouth was watering. I put that chip in my mouth and <laughs> I was, it was a big surprise. I was just kind of like, when does sour cream get sweet? It's supposed to be sour because it's called sour cream. So I learned my lesson from there. Do not get Korean chips. Um, even the Cheetos here are different. That fooled me. Fooled me once. Won't fool me twice. Ha. Huh? And um, so I do miss, like I said, the, I miss American food. I miss the hamburgers. The pizza, actually Korean pizza is not that bad. They just put sugar on everything. So they don't put sugar on the pizza, but they put sweet potato sauce on the pizza. It's not bad, but sometimes you just wanna like 
plain pizza with no sugar. Um, it's salads here are hard to find. If you do find a salad, it's very expensive. It's like ten or eleven dollars with avocado on it because avocados by themselves in a container are eight dollars um eight dollars and up actually depending on where you get them um i came with the unlock phone that has been very helpful that i came with an unlock phone so if you do move to korea please come with an unlock phone because if you're setting up a phone account um you'll get a discount depending on the phone company you're with but the thing about that is i still don't have wi-fi I've been in Korea for a month now and I still do not have an alien registration card which means I cannot get a decent phone plan so I'm pretty much every three days paying $19 for a prepaid SIM card that gives me two gigabytes. That has been a big pain because sometimes I just want to sit in my apartment and chill and watch Netflix or you know just get on youtube and watch videos and i can't i have to go downstairs walk 30 seconds to the nearest coffee shop and just sit there all day which is not bad but sometimes I just want to be in your bed you know I just want to be in your bed on your pillows and not go anywhere i have to go to the coffee shop to edit videos or to work on anything i want to or even use my um use my phone because I still kept, when I came to Korea, I kept my American phone and then I had my unlock phone just in case. So my cow cow is on my American phone and I don't know how to transfer it over right now. So to use that, I have to use my uh, Korean phone gigabytes, which will, I will run out of data. Or mostly I just sit at the coffee shop and sit there and on Wi-Fi talking to people on KowKow or WhatsApp or WeChat or whatever they're <laughs> texting me from. Um, I can't say, I can say, oh, let me say this as well. So being in Korea, I've definitely, and I told my friend this, I don't feel different because of the color of my skin because I'm black. I feel out of, not different, but I feel kind of like a barrier because of language. I feel like if I know more of Korean, then I'll be able to maneuver around more. And that's in any country, you know, to know the language. So, but I can definitely say so far, my personal experience, I don't feel left out or discriminated because of the color of my skin. If anything, it's because I don't know fluent Korean yet. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you an update on how I was doing. I'm fine. I'm walking everywhere. So I'm getting my exercise, uh, to make it short, to go bullet point, bullet point, bullet point, bullet point. Number one is I'm fine. Uh, vegetables here are expensive. So I am trying to figure out how to add vegetables any kind of way into my diet. So I may have to make my own salads. I do cook at home a lot. Bullet point number two is the language barrier. That is what I've noticed. So I'm working on learning more Korean and trying to read Korean. Uh, bullet point number three is I'm missing American food. Bullet point number four, uh, I don't have Wi-Fi yet and I don't have my ARC card, alien registration card. I do not have it yet. I will have it by next month, hallelujah. And then I can get Wi-Fi and chill in my place and watch netflix so yeah if you have any comments any questions anything that i may have missed in this video please feel free to leave a comment below and yeah subscribe and i will see you till next time there are my flowers hello i bought plants sorry not flowers there's one flower but i have plants because plants are really popular here for air pollution. So they're good air purifiers, so everybody has plants.